Could you survive a nanosecond on the sun? This question comes from, well, probably someone who skipped sunscreen one too many times. Sounds simple enough. Just one billionth of a second. How bad could it be? Let's find out. First, let's define what we mean by on the sun. Because the sun doesn't really have a surface. It's a massive ball of plasma. A soup of hydrogen and helium so hot that atoms don't even hold themselves together anymore. The surface, or photosphere, is the part we see glowing in the sky. Its temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to turn any known material, including you, into a brief, regret-scented mist. Now, let's time travel forward exactly one nanosecond, one billionth of a second. In that time, light itself travels only about 30 centimeters. That's barely the length of a ruler. But when we're talking about surviving near the sun, 30 centimeters of light time is enough to kill you several trillion times over. Imagine you could teleport instantly from Earth to the surface of the sun. No spaceship, no heat shield, just you, floating there. For the first trillionth of a second, photons from the sun's surface bombard your body with energy so intense that the molecules holding your atoms together simply give up. The bonds break, the atoms scatter, and congratulations. You've just become a rapidly expanding cloud of plasma. By the time that single nanosecond has passed, you haven't merely been vaporized, you've been unwritten. The concept of you no longer exists in any recognizable atomic form. The energy absorbed by your body in that instant is roughly equivalent to being hit by the combined output of several nuclear bombs, focused entirely on a single human-sized spot. Still, let's be generous and imagine you somehow had perfect protection, a force field capable of reflecting heat, radiation, and particles. You appear on the sun, floating heroically in your invincible bubble. You can't see much because the sunlight is so bright it makes atomic weapons look like candles. The magnetic field twists around you and arcs the size of planets. Superheated plasma loops, called prominences, rise hundreds of thousands of kilometers into the air, swirling like fiery tsunamis. And then the real problem begins. Gravity. The sun's gravity is 28 times stronger than Earth's. You'd weigh almost three tons. If your magical bubble had any connection to the sun's surface, it would immediately flatten into a two-dimensional pancake. But even that's nothing compared to what's happening under your feet. A few hundred kilometers below the photosphere, the temperature skyrockets to over a million degrees. And the pressure becomes so immense it fuses hydrogen into helium the process that powers the sun and all life on Earth. You are, essentially, standing on the biggest nuclear reactor in the known universe. Now let's look at the time scale again. A nanosecond. The sun emits about 3.8 times 10 to the 26th watts of energy every second. That means in one nanosecond, it releases about 3.8 times 10 to the 17th joules. Enough energy to vaporize a large city. Even if only a trillionth of that touched you, that's still far beyond what any matter can withstand. Your atoms would be ionized faster than they could register the experience of pain, fear, or even existence. In fact, let's compare. The fastest nerve signal in your body takes about a millisecond of fire. That's a million times slower than a nanosecond. So technically, yes, you'd survive the first nanosecond on the sun, because your brain wouldn't have enough time to realize you were dead. But there's one more layer to this madness. Suppose you tried to approach the sun gradually. Long before you reached the photosphere, radiation would strip away your spacecraft's shielding. The outer hull would melt hundreds of thousands of kilometers away. The onboard electronics would fail as charged particles shredded circuits. Even if you were inside a ship made entirely of theoretical materials like graphene or tungsten plasma mirrors, you wouldn't make it anywhere close. The photons alone would disassemble matter at the atomic level. So maybe the question isn't, could you survive a nanosecond on the sun? But rather, could anything survive even the idea of being on the sun? And the answer, as always with cosmic scale stupidity, is no. Still, humans are a curious species. We build giant telescopes, launch probes like Parker Solar Probe that dare to skim the sun's atmosphere. These machines don't survive the sun. They merely endure it for moments at a time, shielded by physics itself. Just long enough to teach us how close we can come to touching a star. So if you ever find yourself daydreaming about standing on the sun, remember, it's not a place you could visit. It's a place that defines the limit of visiting. A glowing reminder that in this universe, curiosity may be infinite, but so is heat. And if anyone ever offers you a one nanosecond vacation on the sun, do yourself a favor, stay home, Wear sunscreen and enjoy the star from a safe 150 million kilometers away.